Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and uh, welcome back to Let's Report. In your previous video, we have learned how to read data from a JSON file and pass it the value to the test script. Today, we are going to learn how to write the data into a JSON file and from there, we are going to read that. And trust me, it's going to be very simple, just few lines of code. Before getting into this, let me show you what I'm trying to do. So if I go back to my input, this particular page here, we can see that we have a some value in the text box and this is going to be a one and this is going to be my one spec file where i'm going to read this value and i'm going to have my another spec file where what are the value i'm going to get from that spec i'm going to pass it here and i'm going to search in the on this particular page right so that means of course i have two spec one is going to be my input spec and another one is going to be my the git user search page I already have a two specs here. One is this edit spec and another one is this git user spec. In the edit spec, it's very simple. We are navigating to this particular website and we are grabbing the value using this particular ID and we have stored that in this particular variable. So if I just try to log this now and let us execute this. And here we can see that the value is autonic AC and that should be here exactly as well, right? So that's the reason we are using this get attribute to read the data from the text box. Now, what are the value we have got? We are going to write that in a JSON file. So for that, we have to use something called file system. So file system is from the node.js. So here I can call that. So const fs equal to require. So require in the sense we are trying to import that and that model name is going to be fs so from the file system i'm going to use the function called write file sync so that's going to synchronously writes the data to a file and if there is already a file that is going to be replaced by this particular function and within this we can have to pass two data so one is the path where we want to store and another one is going to be the data so actual data whatever we are going to write and if you notice the data type should be actually of string now this is your like your um, string so probably i can just write that directly but of course we know that we want to get two values one is the key and another one is going to be our name right so first let us try to give the path so i'm just going to store this in this particular location so the project direct folder so i can just give the file name so i'm just going to make this as git data or maybe yeah so git data dot json and then followed by we have to set the value and i'm going to use the curly braces to set the username i mean the key and the value so here it's going to be my get name and then followed by this name git name right so don't get confused with this so this is actually we are retrieving from this particular uh, id value and this git name is just our key which i'm setting to write and then followed by it is also going to give us a callback so callback in the callback we can got the error message so if there is any error this guy is going to get invoked so here i just can log this so we'll check if there is first error so if error if the error is present there then probably we just gonna log that error whatever the error we gonna get that's good so that's it we are done so this is like your right file sync and here we have to pass the file name and then within the curly braces or even you can write within the object so for example here i can say like lit data and then for by within the curly braces i can give the value like this also we can do but if you use like this we cannot pass the data data directly here we have to do the json stringify so json dot stringify and within this we have to pass the data because of course we have to uh, convert what are the values we have into the JavaScript object notation, then only we can write that into a JSON file. And stringy file helps to convert what are the JavaScript value we have to a JSON object, right? That's it, pretty cool. So first, let us try to run this and we'll see if the file is going to be created here, right? So I can just simply run this now. Okay, so it's completed and 
if I go back to my this folder and here you can see that we got a new file called git data.json and within the file we can see that we have this key and this particular value that is retrieved from the page right now what are the value we have here we are going to pass that to the another spec so let us try to delete this first okay so this is our uh, way to write the file now if i go back to my another spec this is my git user spec where we have simple uh, two lines of code one is we are going to that particular website and within the send keys so this guy this username we have to pass this value right so of course we have to read the data first right so we already know how to read the data so i'm just going to do it very quickly so const data equal to and of course we have to do the require but the problem here is in the require i cannot say the file name because of course i have deleted that means the file is not there at the moment before it's going to write by the another script right so what we can do is instead of writing this import statement here or the request statement here i can write on this particular line or where wherever i want so or maybe i can use this within this before all so before starting each and every script here i'm just going to get the particular um json file right so here we can say like const data and let's move this outside so we want to send this data here as well so i will just write that in this particular location so and of course it should be of let now because we are going to change the value and here we'll pass the value so that's going to be this file name whatever we are going to write here and i can just copy and paste over here and here i can say like data dot get name i think yeah right so of course it should be in the capital letter because that is what we are trying to write in this particular here right so this is my key the key should be exactly matched here right that's it now once we pass the data we want to just uh, we are just going to click on this i mean we are just going to do the enter probably so here i can say like um, protector dot keys dot enter key dot enter and that's it right so we'll see if the result is going to get populated or not so of course i cannot run this two files at the same time using the run test plugin so within this protector.con.js i have already included both the spec so it is going to be run in this sequential order so if i go back to my terminal and if i say protector and then followed by the file name so that's going to be protector.conf.js now let's see what happens hopefully it should run Okay, so here I think the file path is wrong. So double slash dot slash and then followed by git data dot json, right? So this is the file path. So that's the reason we got the exception as undefined because we do not have it says that cannot find model git data dot json, right? So that's the reason we are spec got failure. My bad. So let us just try to delete this guy again and we are going to run this again, right? And here you can see that it typed the value and of course that means we are able to handle some of the data dynamically so using the json we can read the data we can write the data and again we can read the data or however you want to do the manipulations you can do whatever the file manipulations we wanted to do we can achieve that using the file system right so that's going to be very very easy so let's quickly recap here we are trying to get the value from one spec and we are storing that using this fs dot write file sign and here we have to pass the file name and the path and then here we have to pass our actual data and this guy is a callback function if there is any error we are trying to print that and in the another spec we are just trying to read the data from the json file whatever we have written and we are doing the record here the reason is very simple before creating the data the const whatever the values here we have it's going to execute so at that point it will say like the file is not present so that's the reason 
before executing this described block we are trying to get the data and then we are trying to pass it here in here right so that's it i hope this is very easy and it's uh, very simple to understand and one thing you have to remember the file system always replace the values so if you have like multiple values you want to store multiple two three datas or a number of datas uh, store all the data in a variable and pass or write the data at the end of your script so that the file will have all your variables that makes sense i believe that's it from my side thanks for watching see you in the next one bye soon